Crackers would be like. <laughs>
What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some spinach here and just put a handful of spinach uh, like that. Sometimes you can put in the fruit first. It doesn't really matter the order. Uh, sometimes putting in the fruit first is helpful. That's good. And as you can see, it's just two little handfuls. There's no measuring. Uh, put more or less depending on what you need. You can use any leafy green. Any leafy green. So um, in my book, I've got recipes for bok choy, Swiss chard, um, spinach, kale, obviously. All right, then we're gonna put in our, our little star of the show right here, Mr. Parsimon. Parsimon goes right in here. Wonderful, okay. How much do you put? As much as you want, as much as you want, right? And then, blueberries. Any berries you want. But I thought this would be nice. Blueberries are also a little winter crop. It's really nice. And this bag is almost out, so I went ahead. You know, you can't go wrong with blueberries, right? This is a big ass bag of blueberries. You're allowed to say big ass bag. Just don't call your mother in law a big ass bag. But typically in uh, Dr. Vong's world, you can say big ass. Big ass is a technical term. Good. Oh, I forgot my banana. Okay. I like bananas in my smoothies. Now pay attention now, because I get this question a lot. I like bananas in my smoothies because um, it gives it the right texture. Now, if you're trying to be low carb, or if you're diabetic, skip the banana. The banana is too sweet for diabetics and people who are trying to be low carb. I'm not particularly trying to be low carb, but you want to use a small banana. Now, in case you don't know the difference between a large banana and a small banana, this is a small banana. This is a large banana. This is right there. See, small banana, large banana. So we're gonna take a small banana, and I'm just gonna use the whole thing, right? And there's a whole different types of bananas. I'll do a different video with different types of bananas too. All right, we're just gonna pop that in there. So we got persimmon, blueberry, um, and uh, banana. So the question, the banana peel then goes into our compost bag. The question is, what can you do if your doctor says you need to be low carb or you're diabetic? All right, skip the banana. Uh, use an avocado instead, like use a half an avocado. Um, the fruits you can use, because I got this question yesterday, is um, are fruits bad for you after you've had weight loss surgery? And there's fuck no, no, it's not. Fruits are good for you. Now, if you're trying to be low carb, you want to try to avoid the sweeter fruits, things like bananas. Grapes are super high in sugar, so avoid grapes. All your berries are good for you, so blueberries. Check this out. I got some blackberries in here. I'll just go ahead and throw in some blackberries. Why not? We got some here. Uh, I'm almost out, so it's a little bag. All your berries are good. Raspberries, blackberries, all your pitted fruits. So cherries um, are great for you if you're trying to be low carb. Nectarines, peaches. It's not my job, it's not my goal today to be low carb, okay? Uh, but that's what you wanna do, um, is stick to the berries. Stick to the berries. Avoid melons if you're trying to be low carb, so a watermelon is too sugary, uh, cantaloupe, honeydew, all the melons are just too sweet if you're trying to be low carb. Now, I love it, I'm not trying to be low carb today. All right, so that's what we have. Now, once you have your fruit, and don't forget your greens, you have to have a liquid base, a liquid base. Now, if you're a weight loss surgery patient watching me, this would be a good time to use up all your crappy Premier Protein Shakes, okay? All those terrible protein shakes. I'll do another video where I talk about why the protein shakes are so bad for you, other than just being just artificial. I like soy milk. You can use almond milk. Now, let me tell you how crazy people are because you have to remember this when you're going around in the world. I'll say, you know, dairy's bad for you, so use soy milk or almond milk. And people will go, well, Dr. Vong, I'm allergic to milk, so is soy milk okay for me? I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> or I'm allergic to dairy. Is soy milk okay? Uh, or they'll say, they'll, I mean, they'll say, I'm allergic to dairy, so I can't have soy milk or almond milk. And I'm like, dude. So soy milk and almond milk is not dairy. What is wrong with people? So you're gonna put in um, some a liquid base. Coconut water would be excellent too. Uh, hemp water would be fine. Hemp water tastes kind of like eating like a straw, like barn, you know? 
How much do you put in there? It just depends on the consistency you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this lid on. Now, you can put in your liquid vitamins right now. You can put in your protein powders. So a lot of people go, what, what? What is the protein powder I can use, Dr. Bong? If I had to recommend a protein powder, I would say stick to some sort of vegan protein powder. Uh, you wanna to try to avoid whey protein powder. Uh, a lot of people are actually allergic to whey and you just don't know it. So let's do this real quick. The lid is on tight. Make sure the lid's on tight. We're gonna flip this bad boy upside down. A Nutri Ninja, 75 bucks. I've used it every single day for two years, three years. Woo, go baby, go! So this is a green smoothie, but clearly it's not green. It's from the color of the blackberries as well as the blueberries. Shake that up. Let it go again, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Go, baby. Get away from protein shakes. This is a hundred times much healthier for you. It's live, full, full of nutrients. You don't need to add any sort of sugar, sugar substitutes, stevia is bad for you, get away from all that shit. Really, this is gonna be plenty sweet, okay? Now, let's check the consistency. So we're gonna open this up. Now, this is one of the things why it's so wonderful. Smoothies are, so you need smoothies. That's nice and runny, let me see. Mm. If you are, oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, it's so good. I wanna blend it down a little bit more. Woo, baby. I'm gonna get to my thought here in a second. The reason why you want green smoothies in your diet if you're a weight loss surgery patient is let's say you just had surgery and whatever schedule your surgeon puts you on and once they put you on mushies, like you're off of liquids and you can do things like puddings and yogurts which have no nutritional value, you wanna do green smoothies instead and give your little baby sleeve, baby pie pass a lot of nutrition. So you can make the texture of the smoothie as thick or thin as you want. So if you just had surgery and you're a week out, make it really fucking runny. Add a lot of soy milk, coconut water, almond milk, right? Put your protein powder in there if you want. Make it really runny. Now, if you're further out, and you're like, Dr. Vong, like smoothies don't make me feel full. First of all, smoothies aren't supposed to make you feel full. Okay, they do. Just make them a little bit thicker, right? Reminder, one more time. Smoothies are all about nutrition. Smoothies are about nutrition. They're not about making you feel full, all right? So you're taking a green smoothie because of the nutrition. It's to nourish your body, not make you feel full, okay? Mmm! Shit's good. Tastes nice banana-y. Persimmon's kind of in there. It's kind of back in the, mm, in the background. The berries are kind of overpowering. So it's very berry airy Berry airy <laughs> I probably have like berry stuff in my teeth. <laughs> All right, so that's persimmon. Remember to go with the non-astringent persimmon, or if you get an astringent one, make sure it's nice and soft. They're on sale right now. They're readily available. It's the fall. Hope you enjoy it. Check out my new Advanced Green Smoothie book. Enjoy. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll check out my book, Advanced Green Smoothies. It's available now on Amazon. It's a really great book, Recipes. It's on Superfoods. It comes with colored photos in it, uh, simple recipes, area to take notes. But the cool thing is it has like um, the benefits of some of the superfoods right there. So it's a really good book. I hope you check it out. Cool?